Hello everyone, this is Anuj from Gadget Kick. Today we have with us a newly launched Nokia Media Streamer, which can help you convert your old regular TV into a smart TV. This device is available to purchase from Flipkart.com at Rs. 3,199. So let me quickly show you the unboxing first. In the front of the box we have the Nokia branding and it's a media streamer. And here we can see the picture of the device along with the remote controller. And this device also supports Google Assistant. On the side we can see the box content and here on this side you have some key features such as you get the Dolby Audio, dual band Wi-Fi support, built-in Chromecast, quad-core processor and you also get the Bluetooth support. And here you can see the streaming apps it supports and apart from that you can also download more from the Play Store. And looking at the back of the box we have the setup info and it's really easy as it's just a plug and play device. Now let's open the box and show you the content. So here we have the user guide which has the info about different features of this streamer. And then here we have the device itself. Looking at it for the first time, I must say that it's really compact and the build quality is really good. But I like the fact that it's small and you can easily carry this with you in your bag. We will look at it in a moment. Let's see what else we have in the box. So we get these two boxes and in the first box we have the split cable where you have the IR sensor for the remote controller and the micro USB to power this device. And you also get this HDMI cable by which you can connect it to your TV or monitor. In the other box we get the remote controller and the layout and the design of this remote controller is simple but really good. The buttons on this remote controller are clicky and because of the layout they are easily accessible. You also have a dedicated button for Google Assistant on the top along with the mic on the remote. And below it you have the Netflix and the Z5 dedicated button. In the box you also get the two AAA batteries for the remote which is really good. So that's all we have in the box. Now let's set up our device. On the streamer you have these two ports. First is the micro USB and other is the mini HDMI port. In order to set up, we need to connect the power cable and the mini HDMI cable. Now we just need to connect the HDMI cable to the TV and the setup process is really easy. And you can use your phone to do a quick setup which hardly took us 5 minutes. Now talking about the user interface, the layout is simple like any other Android TV where you have the apps on the top which includes your favorite apps. You can also rearrange these apps as per your choice. And then below it, we have the Netflix and the other streaming platform suggestion. And here we have the app discovery option where you can install the recommended apps onto your device. On the remote, you have the app drawer button by which you can access all the installed apps as well as access Google Play Store. And here you can install the other apps. You can install Amazon Prime, Geo Cinema and other streaming apps from here. In case if you're not able to install Amazon Prime Video app or it says it's not compatible, just exit the Play Store and try searching it again. And then you will see an install button. Now talking about the hardware, you get the quad core processor, 1 GB RAM, 8 GB storage out of which approximately 4.7 GB is available. And in this device, you also get the Mali 450 GPU. In terms of the performance, there is no lag and stutter at all while going through different menu. And also, the performance while watching videos on OTT platform is pretty good. The remote controller is very responsive and unlike the other streaming devices in this price range, there is no lag while going through the app menu and other options on this device. This Nokia streaming device also supports Dolby sound which is really impressive. And even you have a non-Dolby supported TV, you get good audio quality output. In this device, you also get the Bluetooth support by which you can connect your Bluetooth keyboard or mouse as well as a gaming controller. I have also played few casual games using this controller and the performance was decent. The mic on the remote controller helps you to use Google Assistant and during our testing, we had no issues using it for Google Assistant as well as for voice search. And lastly, you also get the built-in Chromecast support in this device and I have used it to stream videos and Google Photos on my TV and it performed pretty good. Overall Nokia Media Streamer is a value for money device by which you can convert your TV into a smart TV. The device is compact and really easy to set up. The remote controller is of good quality and is also quite responsive. So to sum it up, if you're looking for a streaming device for your TV which performs good and offers features like dual band Wi-Fi, Dolby Audio, then we highly recommend you to check out the Nokia Media Streamer. And as mentioned earlier, it is available through flipkart.com at Rs 3199. And if you like it and want to buy one, 
then do check the buy link in the description below. So that's it guys this was the unboxing and overview of the Nokia Media Streamer. Let us know if you like it and also do tell us which streaming device you use with your TV in the comment section below. So that's all for now. If you like this video then please press the like button and subscribe to our channel Gadget Geek for more videos like this. Once again this is Anuj signing off and I'll see you in the next one.